All right, bub, let's make this quick. Where were you on the night of the 18th? And don't try any funny business or you'll be spending Christmas in a cold cell. Whoa, 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 hold on. There's gotta be some kind of mix up. Can it? I've got witnesses placing you at the scene right before the fish and street job went down. So start talking. What's your role in all this? Take it easy, partner. This gentleman clearly has nothing to do with it. Let's all take a breath here. Your partner's right, Detective. I'm Daniel. I run the Reverie Hall podcast. I don't know anything about a crime. That's a steaming pile and you know it. I ought to run you downtown right now for obstruction. Last chance. Come clean, or you'll be seeing nothing but steel bars for Christmas. Everything all right in here, fellas? I heard a commotion. All good here. Just conducting an interview. Happy holidays. Lumpkin, get a hold of yourself. You're going to get us kicked out of here. This man is no criminal. Why don't we ask him about his show, hmm? It sounds interesting. Fine. But this doesn't smell right to me. Go on then, pitch me this podcast of yours. But no funny stuff. Okay, uh, well, it's it's an anthology series, different genres, each episode, some sci-fi, noir detectives like you two, but uh, also space adventures, fantasy yeah, ropes. Yeah. A scattered mess, if you ask me. You telling me listeners want this random junk? Really creative format, if I do say so. Tell us, what inspired this variety approach? Well, I wanted to keep things fresh, give fans a little bit of everything. All four current shows will be getting three episodes this season, continuing after the holiday break, but I, I promise, subtle connections reveal themselves over time. Upcoming seasons will focus on more serialized tales. Uh-huh. We'll see about that. So give us the lowdown on this next season then. What are we in for? The next season follows a specialized team called Havoc, a renegade crew of space smugglers as they take on dangerous missions, fighting against tyranny and corruption, but they also love a good score. We introduce them in our fourth episode, but I promise we have not seen the last of you two. Hey, what in the hell is that supposed to mean? Lumpkin settle down. He's not a perp, remember? All right, all right. Havoc sounds intriguing. What kinds of adventures and challenges will they face? There will be perilous new missions, technologies gone awry, and plenty of clashing within the team itself. Their skills and loyalty to each other will be put to the ultimate test. Will it better deliver after all this hype you're giving it? What other kinds of stories you cooking up for the future? All sorts of genre mashups and inclusive perspectives. I want to keep listeners guessing where things might go next. But subtle threads will reward longtime fans as past details resurface when you least expect it. Fascinating. Are there opportunities for fans like us to get involved at all? Perhaps sending in case suggestions to help shape future stories? Absolutely. We are always open to ideas from listeners. In fact, the whole Neon Noir series came from a suggestion by a friend. They pitched the concept, we wrote a script, and they got an exclusive early listen. Without input from dedicated fans, the show wouldn't even exist. You two wouldn't even be detectives if it wasn't for that friend's idea. You wouldn't exist at all. So you better not come at me so hard next time we talk, Lumpkin, or I might just write you off. Hey now, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> you may have dreamed up this little fictional world, but Wolford and I aren't just puppets on a string for you to play with. Sure, we appreciate you bringing us to life and all through your podcast, but we're more than just characters. We've got our own thoughts and personalities outside of your scripts. So don't be making any threats to write me off just because I gave you some tough questions. You may control the pen, but we're more than just ink on the page. So let's show a little mutual respect here. We good? I don't know, Lumpkin. A Wolford solo show does sound pretty intriguing. I'd be happy to work with Daniel here if you won't cooperate. 
Ah, uh, stop sucking up to the writer, Wolford. We've got real perps to catch. Let's wrap this up. I suppose I might tune into an episode of this podcast thing to see what all the fuss is about. But no promises. But before we go, give me your social media details or whatever, just in case I need to get in touch for official business. And don't even think about leaving town. Ah, seriously, Lumpkin? I can't wait to listen in. Sure thing. You can find all of our social media information at reveriehallpodcast.com. Great. I'll follow you immediately. Happy holidays. Yeah, yeah. Happy holidays, I guess. Yes. Happy holidays from everybody at Reverie Hall Podcast. I'll be seeing you after the break. <laughs>